Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Heat. Question number 1. A marble tile would feel cold as compared to a wooden tile on a winter morning because the marble tile, option A, is a better conductor of heat than the wooden tile. Option B, is polished while wooden tile is not polished. Option C, reflects more heat than wooden tile. Option D, is a poor conductor of heat than the wooden tile. The correct answer is, option A, is a better conductor of heat than the wooden tile, since, a marble tile is a good conductor of heat as compared to the wood, therefore a marble tile will allow heat to pass through itself easily, keeping it cool on a winter morning. Question number 2. A beggar wrapped himself with a few layers of newspaper on a cold winter night. This helped him to keep himself warm because, option A. Friction between the layers of newspaper produces heat. Option B. Air trapped between the layers of newspaper produces heat. Option C. Newspaper is a conductor of heat. Option D. Newspaper is at a higher temperature than the temperature of the surroundings. The correct answer is. Option B. Air trapped between the layers of newspaper produces heat. The air trapped between the layers of newspaper does not allow heat to pass through, so it helps the beggar to keep himself warm. Question number 3. Paheli and Bujo measured their body temperatures. Paheli found tears to be 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and Bujo recorded 37 degrees Celsius. Which of the following statement is true? Option A. Paheli has higher body temperature than Bujo. Option B. Paheli has lower body temperature than Bujo. Option C. Both have normal body temperature. Option D. Both are suffering from fever. The correct answer is. Option C. Both have normal body temperature. The temperature 37 degrees Celsius is described in Celsius scale while the temperature 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit is described in Fahrenheit scale but they are actually equal. Both these values represent the normal average temperature of a human body. Question number 4. Bujo has three thermometers as shown in figure. He wants to measure the temperature of his body and that of boiling water. Which thermometer should he choose? I. 2. 3. Option A. Thermometer. I. Or. 3. For measuring body temperature and. 2. For measuring the temperature of boiling water. Option B. Thermometer. I. For measuring temperature of both. Option C. Thermometer. 2. For measuring temperature of both. Option D. Thermometer. 3. For measuring temperature of both. The correct answer is. Option A. Thermometer. I. Or. 3. For measuring body temperature and. 2. For measuring the temperature of boiling water. Thermometers. I. And. 3. Are clinical thermometers used to measure body temperature and. 2. Is laboratory thermometer used to measure the temperature of boiling water or any object other than human body? Question number 5. Four arrangements to measure temperature of ice in beaker with laboratory thermometer are shown in figure A, B, C and D. Which one of them shows the correct arrangement for accurate measurement of temperature? Option A. Option B. Option C. Option D. The correct answer is Option A. The correct arrangement is shown in figure A. For accurate measurement of temperature, a laboratory thermometer must be kept upright not tilted and the bulb should be completely surrounded by the substance of which the temperature is to be measured. Also, 
The bulb should not touch the surface of container. Question number 6. Figure A, B, C, D shows a student reading a doctor's thermometer. Which of the figure indicates the correct method of reading temperature? Option A. Option B. Option C. Option D. The correct answer is Option A. In first case, eyes of student are in level of mercury in thermometer, so it is the correct way to read the temperature in a clinical thermometer. Question number 7. Figure A, B, C, D shows the readings of four different thermometers. Indicate which of the reading shows the normal human body temperature. Option A. Option B. Option C. Option D. The correct answer is Option C. As we know that normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. So, the correct option is C. Question number 8. An iron ball at 40 degrees Celsius is dropped in a mug containing water at 40 degrees. The heat will Option A. Flow from iron ball to water. Option B. Not flow from iron ball to water or from water to iron ball. Option C. Flow from water to iron ball. Option D. Increase the temperature of both. The correct answer is Option B. Not flow from iron ball to water or from water to iron ball. The heat will not flow from iron ball to water or from water to iron ball as both the substances have same temperature. Question number 9. 1 liter of water at 30 degrees Celsius is mixed with 1 liter of water at 50 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the mixture will be Option A. 80 degrees Celsius. Option B. More than 50 degrees Celsius but less than 80 degrees Celsius. Option C. 20 degrees Celsius. Option D. Between 30 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. The correct answer is Option D. Between 30 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. The temperature of mixture will be between 30 OC and 50 OC. Question number 10. A wooden spoon is dipped in a cup of ice cream. Its other end, option A, becomes cold by the process of conduction. Option B, becomes cold by the process of convection. Option C, becomes cold by the process of radiation. Option D, does not become cold. The correct answer is Option D. Does not become cold when a wooden spoon is dipped in a cup of ice cream. Its other end does not become cold as wood is a bad conductor of heat. Question number 11. Stainless steel pans are usually provided with copper bottoms. The reason for this could be that Option A. Copper bottom makes the pan more durable. Option B. Such pans appear colorful. Option C. Copper is a better conductor of heat than the stainless steel. Option D. Copper is easier to clean than the stainless steel. The correct answer is. Option C. Copper is a better conductor of heat than the stainless steel. Stainless steel pans are usually provided with copper bottoms. The re-reason for this could be that copper is better conductor of heat than the stainless steel. Question number 12. The direction of flow of heat is. Option A. Always from hotter body to a cooler body. Option B. Always from cooler body to a hotter body. Option C. Always from a body at a lower temperature to a body at higher temperature. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option A. 
always from hotter body to a cooler body. The direction of flow of heat transfer is always from hotter body to a cooler body. Question number 13. In places of hot climate it is advised that the outer walls of houses be painted white. Option A. White color is good reflector. Option B. White makes the wall look beautiful. Option C. Other colors will be expensive. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option A. White color is good reflector. In places of hot climate it is advised that the outer walls of houses be painted white. BQ's white color is good reflector. So the heat falling on the wall gets reflected and wall is not heated. Question number 14. We receive heat energy from the sun through underscore mode of transmission. Option A. Conduction. Option B. Convection. Option C. Radiation. Option D. Yet to be found. The correct answer is. Option C. Radiation. We receive heat energy from the sun through radiation mode of transmission. Since there is no medium between sun and earth heat can travel only through radiation. Question number 15. When two bodies at different temperatures are placed in thermal contact with each other, heat flows from the body at higher temperature to the body at lower temperature until them both acquire the same temperature. Assuming that there is no loss of heat to the surroundings, the heat, option A, gained by the hotter body will be equal to the heat lost by the colder body. Option B, the heat gained by the hotter body will be less than the heat lost by the colder body. Option C. The heat gained by the hotter body will be greater than the heat lost by the colder body. Option D. The heat lost by the hotter body will be equal to the heat gained by the colder body. The correct answer is. Option D. The heat lost by the hotter body will be equal to the heat gained by the colder body. The heat lost by the hotter body will be equal to the heat gained by the colder body. Because as in the question we assuming that there is no loss of heat to the surroundings. Question number 16. Match column I with column 2 and select the correct answer using the code given below the columns. Column I column 2. A. Summer. P. Land breeze blows. B. Winter. Q. Sea breeze blows. C. D. R. Dark colored clothes are preferred. D. Night. S. Light colored clothes are preferred. Option A. A. S. B. R. C. Q. D. P. Option B. A. P. B. Q. C. R. D. S. Option C. A. Q. B. P. C. R. D. S. Option D. A R B S C P D Q The correct answer is Option A A S B R C Q D P Column I Column 2 A Summer light colored clothes are preferred B Winter dark colored clothes are preferred C Day sea breeze blows. D. Night land breeze blows. Question number 17. Match column I with column 2 and select the correct answer using the code given below the columns. Column I. Transfer of heat. Column 2. Medium. A. Conduction. P. Black surface. B. Convection. Q. Vacuum. C. Radiation. R. Air. D. Absorption. S. A solid medium. Option A. A R. B S. C P. D Q. Option B. A R. B S. C P. D Q. Option C. A S. B R. C Q. D P. Option D. A S. B P. C R. D Q.
The correct answer is option C. A S B R C Q D P column I transfer of heat column to medium A conduction a solid medium B convection air C radiation vacuum D absorption black surface question number 18 match column I with column 2 and select the correct answer using the code given below the columns column I column 2 a. Clinical thermometer. P. Kink. B. Laboratory thermometer. Q. Scale marked in OC. C. Steel. R. Good conductor. D. Plastic. S. Bad conductor. Option A. A. P. B. Q. C. R. D. S. Option B. A. Q. B. P. C. R. D. S. Option C. A Q B P C S D R Option D A P B Q C S D R The correct answer is Option A A P B Q C R D S Column I Column 2 A Clinical Thermometer P Kink B. Laboratory thermometer. Q. Scale marked in OC. C. Steel. R. Good conductor. D. Plastic. S. Bad conductor. Question number 19. Read the passage given below and answer the questions that follow. Passage 1. A clinical thermometer is used to measure the body temperature of human beings. It consists of a long, narrow, Uniform glass tube. It has a bulb at one end. The bulb contains mercury. This thermometer read temperatures from 35 C to 42 C. What for is a clinical thermometer provided with a kink? Option A. To keep the mercury within the range of 35 C, 42 C. Option B. To allow the temperature reading to remain unchanged after the use of temperature until a jerk is given. Option C. To make the thermometer size smaller. Option D. All of the above are correct. The correct answer is. Option B. To allow the temperature reading to remain unchanged after the use of temperature until a jerk is given. To allow the temperature reading to remain unchanged after the use of temperature until a jerk is given. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.